Dear President, thank you very much for joining this debate on the future of Europe. And with the European elections getting close, it's even more and more important to discuss how that future should look like, our common future. And that is the question that we need to ask ourselves, but not just ourselves in this room. Every citizen of Europe needs to ask themselves, what's the Europe that we want to live in? Do we want a Europe where we fight for our common values, where we defend democracy, civil liberties and freedom? Or do we let Europe go down a slippery slope of nationalism and governments that hollow out the key foundations of our union and of democracy? And unfortunately, some governments seem to be going exactly that way. And how the situation looks in a member state also defines what the European Union as such and as a whole looks like. And right now, when our common values are being trampled upon in many member states, every voice that defends civil liberties, every voice that defends freedom and the rule of law counts, regardless of political affiliation. And therefore, Mr. President, we count on you. The Romanian people count on you. The Romanian people showed in a referendum two weeks ago that they do not want an authoritarian state that, that discriminates and that tries to play people off one against each other. They protested by thousands against corruption as well, and they protested against a government that de facto legalizes corruption and does not even shy away from weakening a judiciary system to make it easier for some politicians to put public money, the money of all Romanians, into their own pockets. But instead of listening, the Romanian government sent tear gas against those people protesting. And now the government even wants to replace a strong anti-corruption chief prosecutor by somebody who has, let's say, not such a strong record uh, of the working against corruption. And this is a slap in the face of Romanian citizens. And Mr. President, it now depends on you to stop that. Mr. President, we need you as a strong voice for democracy and the rule of law in Romania and throughout the European Union as well. And two weeks ago, the Constitutional Court of Romania declared over 60 articles of the new criminal procedure co code unconstitutional. And the Venice Commission on Friday warned that the reform would jeopardize the fight against corruption and also against organized crime. Why don't you, Mr. President, take the lead and call on all political parties to put the recommendations of the Venice Commission into practice? Romania needs to start to a broad reassessment of the law reform with all stakeholders involved. And since Romania will take over the presidency um, in a couple of months, it would even be more important to have a role model as, at the head of the presidency to, for good governance to show how it can be done. Let us be courageous together and stand up for democracy and the rule of law. And let us not be intimidated by all of those who flagrantly undermine that very rule of law and our freedom. Thank you.